This is something that Scott Hudson has wanted to do for years. Something his ancestors used to do all the time. And now Scott Hudson is living his dream. A traveling bush led dogs is something that's uh, not so common anymore. Um, so it's, it's important that someone does it. It's important that someone maintains it. Before the journey begins, a Nunatuavut elder says a blessing for the trip, wishing for good weather and for the Creator to watch over them. This trip has taken months of preparation. No detail has gone unchecked. Once the dogs are harnessed up, it is clear there's only one thing they want to do. Run. Hudson and the dogs are running for more than 100 kilometers in the Labrador's south coast, from Cartwright to Black Tickle. From forest to scrub to the barrens, the landscape can change here as quickly as the weather. Hudson and the dogs are used to it. This place is in their blood. So I grew up around teams, uh, grew up hearing the stories from my parents. So it was a big part of day-to-day -day life and a big part of the culture that we were taught. Hudson's team of seven is made up of a variety of huskies, including the Labrador Husky, brought to Labrador, known as a big land in these parts, by the Inuit thousands of years ago. You know, they're a, they're a compact, uh, hard-working uh, northern dog. They're, they're a tough dog. Uh, they have stamina. Uh, you know, they're, they're just an, uh, a dog to work, I guess you could say. You know, they just want to go. Dog teams were once a common sight across Labrador. Now machines have replaced much of their function. But don't tell that to these dogs. This is what opened this part of Labrador up. Uh, people travel from community to community, and they uh, hunted and fished and gathered firewood, did everything that they needed to survive, basically, with, with the dogs. Nine and a half hours later, Black Tickle is in sight. Almost the entire town comes out to see the dog team's arrival. It has been decades since a dog team has pulled into town. This is bringing back memories of when they were kids, and even the kids here today don't know what a dog team looks like because there's nobody really that runs dogs here anymore. But 10 years ago when I met Scott, this was his dream, and I'm so glad that he finally got his dream to come true. Hudson and the dogs are tired after their two-day journey, but you can see the satisfaction on all of their faces. We're uh, having back here for, I guess, seven or eight years, and the comeback by dog team makes it all the more special. Uh, it's a place where, where I grew up. It's a place where I feel most connected. And it's, uh, it's great to be back, it's great to be home. This is, this, is, this is where I belong. It was never an easy journey, but for Scott Hudson, it was well worth it to bring this tradition home. Now that the dogs are here, Hudson hopes that they will help inspire a new generation and others to pick up and keep this tradition alive. Ozzy Michelin, APTN National News, Black Tickle, Labrador.